the increasing prevalence of one time password that is otp bypass scan in digital banking poses significant security risks to users financial information and assets scammers employ various techniques to exploit sms email and unsolicited calls to gain unauthorized access to users bank accounts however users can take proactive measures to protect themselves from these scams welcome to var india news r in the otp bypass scam scammers can bypass the otp authentication process to gain access to an individual's online accounts including bank accounts email accounts and social media accounts it poses a significant threat to the financial security of digital banking users scammers are employing increasingly sophisticated techniques to bypass otp authentication and gain unauthorized access to users bank accounts some of the common methods used in otp bypass scams are number 1 phishing that is scammers send fraudulent emails or text messages that appear to be from legitimate banks or financial institutions these messages often contain links that redirect users to fake websites that mimic the look and feel of the real bank's website number 2 sim swap fraud scammers manage to get a new sim card issued on the victim's phone number effectively taking control of the victim's phone number and receiving an any otp sent to it this allows them to bypass otp authentication and access the victim's bank account number 3 malware scammers trick users into downloading malware onto their devices this malware can intercept and steal otps allowing scammers to access the user's bank account without the user's knowledge number 4 social engineering scammers may call users impersonating bank officials or customer service representatives they try to gain the user's trust and convince them to share their otp or other sensitive information With these users should also maintain an up to date versions of their banking apps to benefit from enhanced security features and restrict app downloads to official app stores only. It is also better to safeguard your smartphone by frequently updating its operating system and applications to ensure the latest security patches. Install reliable mobile security apps and only download applications from official app stores to mitigate the risk of installing malicious software. One should stay up to date with the latest cybersecurity threats as well as scams that are reported in news and be aware of banks latest security guidelines and updates on their official website. Users should enable two factor authentication whenever possible for their banking accounts. This added layer of protection requires an extra password which is something that only you know about like a PIN or password and a one time password. By following these precautions and staying vigilant You can significantly reduce your risk of falling victim to OTP bypass scams and protect your financial security in the digital age. Let's look into today's headlines. Samsung to start producing 3 nm chips for servers. According to sources, Samsung foundry will begin producing HBM that is high bandwidth memory server grade SIPs that is system in packages for an unidentified US client. The South Korean company AD Technology designed the chip It uses 2.5D packaging technology and HBM memory. Furthermore, it is unknown if Samsung Foundry is fabricating the chip using the SF3E that is first generation 3nm fabrication method or the SF3 that is second generation 3nm process. YouTube under pressure to add unverified label to fake news channels. The Indian Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology that is METI has requested YouTube to take legal action against fake news channels and add a news not verified warning. Additionally, it has requested that large social media sites with 5 million or more users submit action plans within 10 days to counteract false information and illegal content. Using WhatsApp on an Android device with one hand is simpler. With its new Android layout, WhatsApp will make it simple for users to flip between tabs at the bottom of the screen. The rollout of this modification to all users has just begun. Four tabs and icons are included in the new interface, but the update also removes the ability to swipe across tabs requiring users to tap instead. Prime Minister Modi, full of praise for Google's manufacturing plants in India. 
During a virtual conversation, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Google CEO Sundar Pichai discussed Google's plans to participate in expanding the ecosystem of electronics manufacturing in India. Modi appreciated the company's collaborations with local manufacturers to produce its Chromebook devices, according to the PMO's readout of the call. The discussion came ahead of the company's Google for India event on Thursday. Apple's latest technology allows software updates on unopened iPhones. While ending support for earlier OS versions, Apple is promoting its most recent software for all iOS customers. The company can update an iPhone using its most recent system without ever activating the device. In reality, the company could still upgrade an iPhone while it was still in its experimental packaging using a pad-like device that is accessible to Apple Store staff. That's all for now. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.